What is up guys? Welcome back to Jack Stand Builds. Welcome if you're new. Today we are working on the C7 Stingray 2014. Uh, we're going to be putting an ANA supercharger on this thing right here. Uh, no other mods, no fueling mods, no cam, E85, nothing. Just putting the supercharger on. So uh, without further ado, we're going to take this hood off right here and get to work on this thing. All right, now that we got our hood off, we're going to remove this factory air ducting. Unbolt it, and now we're going to remove the factory intake system. All right, so we got our stock intake off here. Uh, we've got our clips pulled off the hose, our radiator hose here. Now what we're going to do is remove the front sway bar. All right, so I went ahead and took the E-fans out to give us more room to work here. Took the sway bar off, uh, took the wheels out. I'm about to pull the rack out of here. I've got the steering shaft off, and I've got the tie rod ends off. So now I've just got to uh, remove this little module here from the rack and then take the bolts out of the rack and it should come out. Got our stock rack and pinion out of there. I had to take the brackets off of the side on each side so that it could slide forward. And then I slid it this way and got it through this harness here. And that was it. So now I'm going to loosen the belt, take it off here and take the harmonic balancer off with the three jaw puller. There we have it. We got our stock crank pulley off there. Now we're gonna be putting our Innovators West supercharger pulley on. There we have it. Got our balancer on from Innovators West. Now what I'm gonna do is put the rack back in, get the steering shaft connected, and uh, there's, a little, there's a new little bracket for this ABS module right here, and I'll show you how that goes. We've got our rack back in place. Got our, uh, this is our new ABS module bracket right here. Came with the kit. All I had to do is move the lines around a little bit, loosen these up, and then move them over. Uh, that was pretty simple. Now what we're going to do is slap this bad boy on. There we have it. Supercharger's installed now. Just bolts to the water pump and to the head over here. Also got the belt on. That was pretty easy. Now what I'm going to do is start mounting the intercooler down here there we have that had to cut out the uh, radiator shroud to be able to fit that intercooler up in there but uh, she's mounted up haven't got it mounted on this side yet because I'm gonna do the intercooler piping first all right we got our intercooler piping in now got it ran up under there and then got it ran up under there it's uh, sitting on the bottom where the intercooler is and then I've got our blow-off valve on now so now I've just got to run the vacuum fitting for that into this port on the intake right here. Uh, I'm going to put the E-fan in now so that I can put my uh, my intake pipe on. And uh, we'll go from there. Got our uh, intake pipe on now. Had to modify our stock box a little bit. Had to just cut it down past the mass airflow. Just did what the instructions said. Uh, got the uh, mass airflow sensor extension on now. Got the vacuum hose ran for the blow-off valve and for the PCV. And then I've got this stock PCV hose ran into here. They actually just cap it off so it doesn't actually go through. Uh, now what I'm about to do is get under here and install the skid plate and then put my sway bar back on and put my wheels on. All right, now I got everything ran, everything looking nice and pretty. We got supercharger oil in it. Uh, I got new TR7IX, LTR7IX spark plugs in it, gapped to the appropriate gap for the tuner. And now what I'm about to do is start it up and see what it sounds like. Super wanna race. 
chase him. Get this thing on the dyno and see what she does. Got her up on the dyno now, folks. Got the man Sam in there working his magic. We're gonna get this thing tuned up. See what she does. We just did a little baseline pull. So I think now we're gonna be ready to start making some power. Here we go. This car is factory catalytic converters, no cam, straight 93, like nothing. Just only the supercharger, nothing else done to this car. Hey guys, so we had a little bit of belt slip on the dyno. That's why I threw the higher RPM and actually dropped a little bit of boost. But we just got that, that idler tightened, not tightened, but adjusted. To where it needs to be where the tension on the belt's pretty strong so we're actually letting it cool down right now so that we can fire back up and see what it does this time around all right we'll let her cool down fix the belt slip issue we'll see what she does all tuned up ready to go she made uh 548 i'm just gonna call it 550 and uh now we're gonna take her back to the shop and be done with her all right we're with the customer now we're gonna go rip on this thing and see what she does on the street Right. Here it is, baby. 
we go guys another happy customer in the books headed home to go be enjoyed thank y'all for watching if you like that hit me up i can do it to your corvette too or whatever car you have make sure to follow me on instagram at jack builds you can message me there to get a quote any work or just check out what i'm posting but with that being said make sure to like and subscribe to the channel follow me that's great if you like what you see show me some love i appreciate it guys i'll see y'all later peace <laughs>